uh, went over to Walmart real quick, and I was passing by, and I seen the bag, and I was like, all right, I'm going to just buy it and just have it. people at work and have them try it. And I'm going to try one and see what's up. And we all, bro, we all had the same reaction. It's fucking just ass. <laughs> ass. <laughs> Horrible ass chips. Do not do this again. This right here, <clears throat> mistake. Lays, don't mm. do this again. I wouldn't buy them myself, but I didn't feel like they were that bad. No, I, I think I think people know they was that bad too because they was well stocked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like nobody touching these. It shit. tastes like a Spencer store, the inside of a Halloween event. You know, there's all that foggy taste. Like, oh, <laughs> it's inside of a Spencer store. <laughs> yeah, you. Did, <clears throat> oh. I like the Spencer uh, store. They be having some weird shit in there. It just smells funny. It smells like I like looking around it. It's a, so you like going in uh, Evangeline's? You mean? Yeah. Nah. I don't. I mean, I'll go in there, but I don't, I don't care for it. It's just a bunch of costumes and stuff like that. It's, to me, it's sort of like Spencer's, though. So I feel like Spencer's. Spencer's is more of like for your 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 Slipknots, your punk fans, your your goth. You have nice shirts. Um, they do they have the t-shirts, though. Huh? Yeah. They pay the they the graphic t shirt stuff. Yeah. yeah, you know they got t shirts and stuff like that that you could actually wear, opposed to just costumes, right? And they everybody got, and everybody that worked there, like you know, gothic. N- well, you know they they dabble with dark crystals and shit. Mm. Alternative. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Like they definitely got a they they got some they got some fucking dream catchers hanging around <laughs> at their crib. <laughs> Time out. Be quiet, real quick. What the fuck is that? The drop. What drop? It's the sink. Oh shit! That's water, the sink. Yeah, water in the sink. And I'm hearing that shit all the way over here. Holy fuck! What's that one thing? Somebody had a meme about black people like the alarms. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> smoke detector. <laughs> Tell me why I literally just had to take mine down yesterday. The shit was going off. I took it down and deactivated that shit. I ain't playing that. But the fuck. You, you just you just took the old one out and said fuck this. I just took it down, deactivate. Fuck it, it's sitting down on the couch it's right so, now. So I can call my dad right now, and that shit will literally be going off. I'm like, Dad, you you ever gonna change that? The battery goes, huh? Change what? Change what? So <laughs> like you, you don't hear that? You can't. Uh, no, you don't hear it no point, They don't hear it. <laughs> you stop hearing it now. Oh shit. Well, y'all already know what it is. Another episode of About the Night, episode 105. You rocking with the crew, Rob, Warren, Tony, Winton. We're going to go ahead and dive in, man. We're going to start off right here. Beam team. <laughs> Beam Knew team. That was coming. You already know, man. You know, we got to represent right here, man. We in the playoffs. The play ends. Yeah, yeah. To Get the it playoffs. right. Y'all ain't in shit. We, we almost there. <laughs> we got New Orleans Pelicans you got one more, one more coming up this Friday. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and dive into your jersey real quick because I just I'm not sure if I sent the video to y'all too as well, but I know I sent it to him about how last year this fool LeBron was like, Man, I don't know who came up with the play ins, but oh, I've seen that going they around. need to be fired, you know what I mean? And look who had to actually use the play ins to get where they at right now. That's you know, two years. Hey, we 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 the play in champs. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Got right. to, had to rock A D a little bit, mm. you know. He played Played over. He played good. Played over seventy games this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's at his expiration date. Yeah, though. I know. I wonder if LeBron's going to come out and publicly apologize to the guy that supposedly should be fired for this plan because it helped him. Right? It's actually, man. It's actually a good. Uh, I like it. I like it too. Mm-hmm. I like it, and then and, and and that just speaks to, you know, how the NBA is so experimental right. when it comes with a lot of stuff. They don't just stay. And when, when they get a certain format, you know what I mean? I think the NFL is coming around, too. Mm-hmm. Right. But the NBA is always, like, Four pioneers yeah. when it comes to that type of thing. So, I like it. I like the whole – the, the in-season tournament, we'll see how it, it might start to grow. I, if they – if they, I think – and I'm not sure. I was going to ask you about it. Is there any incentive with the with the playing? I know, the, exactly, I know the players get paid. I was you know, they that. get paid. They, everybody got, like, 500000 I think, on the in Lakers the, for the, them to win. In-season? The in-season tournament yeah. play. But – do they get anything for the season? Like if they finish so. tenth place in the like West, I, f- I feel do they like they should. Like then that would make it more exciting. Right. I think then like you get a guaranteed playoff, like a play in option, no matter where you at. Even if you twelfth in the seed, you something still something like that. Option. You get a, you get an option. Uh, that's a kind of a stretch a little bit. You know what I mean? Well, most likely not. You ain't gonna be the twelfth team and win the fucking play in uh, or in season tournament. Most likely. Like, they got to come up with something creative. I mean, I know. I, we know how baseball does 
the All Star game, the winner gets home home. Yeah, that's too much stakes. Yeah, because so, you talk you fucking with the whole championship. Yeah, like that. That's in, different. In basketball home field home court really matters. I don't know. I mean, they got to get creative with. I don't. I mean, I think you might be onto something. Like if you win the playing, I mean, if you win the end season, you got a guaranteed spot. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean. I don't know. That's tough. It's That's a, tough. It's interesting. We'll see. You, how can, it is. you can win the early ones and somebody get hurt and you slip all the way to twelve and then you get a shot. You know what I mean? I, I see mean, what you're I saying, mean, yeah. yeah, but you earned it at least. But and it's, it doesn't have so many stakes in a sense of like or implications to the to the championship, right? Like you know what I mean? I don't know. They, it's something they can think about. They gonna they gonna mess with it. They gonna see if people are tuning in, watching it. Thing. If it's getting the numbers, then then people are gonna you know they gonna keep it keep it rolling but they need to make it competitive i think so too. that's the thing yeah. make it competitive where people are actually watching they care about it because i think a lot of the players this year a lot of them were just blowing it off they're just like whatever yeah, you know, yeah like yeah. the lakers took it serious i know the kings took it serious there's like quite a few teams that really didn't take it serious so i don't know i mean for the first year it was what it was but right. they should do something creative though like like take them out of the nba arenas like put them on like let them play outside you know I've I mean? always thought I've like, that I've always thought about. It. I know the weather could be, but I like I like I would like to see yeah. the players out there some NBA the street Rucker, shit, yeah. Rucker Court. Yeah. Like I'd yeah. like to see NBA something street. like that. That yeah. would be dope. Now I think I do think that the the chances of injury I think is mm-hmm. I think is the issue or chances of but drive-bys. just put to me I think they should just put the hardwood well, outside. outside. Correct. Like don't don't have them yeah. playing on the on the on the asphalt and the concrete. Yeah. But but just have it outside, like actually build it at the rucker and put the hardwood out there. That'd be dope. Yeah, like bro, I, I think that would be uh, that would be fire. Drive yeah. bys every uh, half time. <laughs> and the buzz they would get from that would be crazy. Yeah, that would yeah. be crazy. Everybody it's just you wouldn't have. I don't know how you would get the the viewers though. That's the only thing. It's like seating, viewers to watch, but seating would be a different issue. Yeah, stuff. yeah. And that's probably why they yeah. wouldn't do it outside. They that's have losing have money. Like rolling bleachers or some shit like that. I don't that's know. true. Mm-hmm. I mean, they could probably retrofit some of these stadiums to do it. Mm-hmm. Some of but these that, football arenas. And that stuff. would be sick though. I'm not yeah. even gonna lie. Just thinking about it, the NBA streets, the game that we used to play, and then playing on the hard hard top like that that should like, be dope that would be different for sure be. yeah <clears throat> that's <was> sick <clears throat> speaking of different we're gonna talk about this man y'all know who little dicky is yeah <laughs> who, don't, who don't know little dicky yeah okay so i Dave. guess i guess he was i you know the kelsey brothers they got a podcast mm-hmm. oh yeah i did see that and i didn't know he was in sack mm-hmm mm-hmm I got a question before we be, no 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 he, during the podcast? no 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 they he <clears throat> he was on their podcast and he told a story they asked him a question basically what was the most weirdest thing he, that someone's ever asked of you and so Sacramento is a it, it comes up in the conversation this is some weird shit uh first thing I got before I just go into it I need to, which one of you motherfuckers out here in sack <laughs> got their dick signed. <laughs> That's what I need to know because right. apparently, basically, he some some somebody basically Ask got their dick signed by Ask him. Little Dicky to sign his dick. You watch the interview. He said he he stretched that shit out on the table. He said, "If you pull that shit out, he said I'll sign it." He 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 said I he want, signed it. We should but have I need a guy to, on I, the show. But my thing is, there's, there's the a show. there's a what is what we call Sacramentan. Sacramentians. Yeah, Sacramentian. What Sacramentian out here got their dick signed by, by Little Dicky and got it probably tattooed? Oh. Fuck. Like who 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 did that? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! For one, you got the balls to put your dick. Tony, out I'm there looking on the at table. you. Oh, nigga! Even if you'd mark, you wouldn't see it. That's I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you would do it. <laughs> oh. I'm talking about like you know somebody. Oh damn! You yeah. got to expose himself. <laughs> he got hella defensive. Oh my! Oh He's my. like it wasn't me. But why would you want a grown man to sign your dick? Cause it's little dick. Well, why would Dicky do it? The, the fuck? I'd be like the fuck. His you name's little Dicky. His name's little Dicky. I don't give a fuck. It's a rap That's joke. Weird. He actually that has weird. a penis condition. So I mean, he's taking his condition and and what? Yeah, he has a penis. He has two holes. He called. He has two holes out of his oh, penis oh, head. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. yeah, whoa, whoa! How do you know that? New information. You don't alert. watch Dave, bro. He has a whole TV show, and it's a dope ass show, bro. He actually mixes in his music with the show, and he talks about a lot of real shit. So he be pissing all on the flow. Yeah, he has split. Yeah, like he has. That. Yeah, he has two holes in his dick. Oh, so his is like, like you know, like when your shit be stuck together, and, mm-hmm. it's, and you spray, and that shit spritz out like why, a motherfucker. Why hole. do I feel like a man shouldn't know that much about another man's dick? <laughs> If you watch the TV show, have you watched Dave? 
You have I, never I mean, on I FX? I don't want to now. Bro, bro. <laughs> what, look, it's a good You got to watch it. If you like music, you like music. Yeah, Skip if, that episode. But if he's talking about <laughs> Lil Dicky's dick condition, I don't want to watch it. Lil Dicky is talking about himself in general. I'm and turned he, and, off. <laughs> it's actually, a, it's actually a really good TV series, bro. I, I hate to say it like that. I don't like pumping up other shows and telling people to go watch it, but FX, Dave. It's called Dave. It's a dope ass TV series about like literally him and his lifestyle, him becoming this rapper and the people that he's surrounded with. You know, don't get me wrong, the, the dick thing is a little part of it. The reason why he talks about it is because people always want to ask him how he got his name, Little Dicky. And he's he has like cautious issues with his dick and he just uses it as a joke and it kind of like wears it on his sleeve type shit. But I'm telling you, bro, watch at least one or two episodes. The music that they put in there, fire. <laughs> fire music. I don't, I don't think he got warrant sold. No, no, it's cool. It's his loss. You missing out, bro. It's a good <laughs> your loss. loss. Your loss. Your loss. It's not like I look. It's not like you see his dick. You don't see his dick, bro. Wait, do you see his dick? It's FX, bro. It's FX. Do you see his dick? I try to. I had to think about it because I'm like, you know, it's a little dick. Soft. Soft. <laughs> soft. But he no. did say, he, and the thing about it is, he narrowed it down because he did say that the dude that did that he the dick he signed, he said it was a medium size. He said it wasn't small, but it wasn't crazy. Like it felt like he was gonna be, you know, he was threatened. He was like, he's like it was medium size, so he centered it down. So anybody from Sacramento, medium size dick. Damn. Anybody from really? Sacramento that really got their dick signed, and you still out here in Sacramento, please reach out to us. We need to have this man on the show. We're gonna have Tony. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna have Tony check it out. <laughs> it's like he's like, man, I really, been, I really made myself look gay this whole time. I'm gonna try to put something on Tony right now. Nah, right. You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I never felt gay, not one bit. <laughs> oh, not one bit. It was just comfortable, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just let it flow on out. All right. But would you let another man sign your dick though? Fuck no, man. What the fuck I look like? <laughs> That's a good question. What the fuck I look like? I ain't pulling I mean, my dick out for nobody but a bitch. So would you? So would you? <laughs> nobody. So would you let a, you let a female sign it? Oh shit! Now you got a good point right there. Fuck yeah. no, man. That's my dick. I ain't putting no ink on my dick. I used to be afraid to put ink on my hand or my arm because they'd be like, "Oh, it's poisonous. The ink can sink so, your so skin." So if Ice and Spice and wanted to sign your dick, you ain't doing. I it. might have to pull the dick out for it though. Okay, but, but okay. I don't know if I let her sign it. Though. You would let her sign it. I probably let her put it. On, I put it on the table just to be like, I'm a grower. What? No, wait, that don't make sense. That's what Brad did for little Dicky. Yeah, see, that's. I don't believe in that uh, stuff. Uh, grower, yeah. shower, shit. Oh, that's weird. Go ahead, dive into it. No, you, you said I'd put it out on the table and I'd be like, oh, I'm a grower. You basically I, just said that it would. She would be small. thinking it's small. Yeah. It's I like no, no. I fucked up there. Yeah, it's like ah, uh, I don't know. I just feel like. It, they all grow. They all get blood flow. I don't know who's walking around with twelve inches soft. You know, unless you're in Africa, or you know what I mean. Fuck, like that's just that's weird to me. It's, it's stop, got, it feels stop up. enunciating that T, nigga. Like fuck, <laughs> that oh, no. T and soft. You need to. I always you need say to that, soften that T. I know so many people that are like, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying I'm not talking about you, but other people that I've heard that are like, oh, I'm a I'm a grower, not a shower. I was like, yeah, yeah, of course you would say that once you've pulled it down. The fuck, but oh. Already, what you got on it? You I, about I to, mean, to me as a straight man, you shouldn't let another man sign your dick. Period. You shouldn't let another right. man see your dick. You shouldn't. I mean, oh wait. I mean, I mean, if you, if you yeah. listen, if you let's say fucked a bad bitch and you got it on video and you're like you want to see it, obviously whoever you show it to is gonna see your dick. So you did that because hey, I wouldn't have never thought of that scenario whatsoever. <laughs> So that's a that's a, that's, a, that's a good that's a good so, point. So if you had an OnlyFans model and we like we don't believe you and you like I got the video. You you wouldn't, I mean you wouldn't you wouldn't yeah, show yeah, it yeah yeah I show it yeah so you can see so it. obviously yeah. we won't see your dig right yeah also, but I mean I'm, you know subconsciously oh, yeah. let's let's go back a few episodes where this nigga Tony and you you let's go pee let's go pee that type of shit I you don't sub, you don't subconsciously dig, do it in the, like okay say you're at the club you go pee you don't subconsciously like I like, see you sitting there and be like. Oh shit! There's a snake. Never mind, it's me. You don't. You don't like, like you don't nothing. That actually went better than good. what I thought it was. I know, right? I thought, that was good. I thought he was gonna say you don't subconsciously just look over. Peek and over. See. That's what I was. Oh, I thought yeah. he was going there. That's where I was no. thinking. <laughs> yeah. He was like, let's go over to somebody. Hey, yeah. bro, this look like a word on him. <laughs> <laughs> 
a sick nigga, bro. Oh, shit, but that snake car, that, <laughs> was, that funny. was actually good, though. That dude, was dude, it's actually pretty funny. Like, everybody's like, ah! <laughs> so everybody's funny. supposed to laugh that at de- your that, de- that delayed drunk laugh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That all is right, get a little bit serious. <laughs> a little bit serious. We're going to let Tony speak on this shit. Are oh, you talking uh, about, bro? So if you've been in Sacramento for a minute, I've been like these past few planes. days, yeah, you know I mean, it seems like a lot of a lot of planes been overhead. Like Tony, you want to speak on this? Planes, this is, this trains is your, with tanks on it, right? Hey, this after is, yeah, this is your wheelhouse, I saw that. Yeah. your wheelhouse. After I after I'd actually, you know, a bunch of people started sending me videos of like <clears throat> tanks and like military trains. movement. Like they do this all the time, but they'll do this once in a month or once mm-hmm. every two months. And those planes, you can see them in the sky. You can tell the military planes. You can see the American flag on it everywhere. These are transport planes. This all just happened after what happened in Damascus with Iran and Israel because you know everybody's I don't know if you guys been watching the news I've just been posting because I'm always on the news they said that, that it was fake though the bombings that the bombings are fake they said that it wasn't the footage wasn't real there's some footage that came out that when that was occurring that people were putting up footage of like they places and that were being bombed because so think of it if you're an Iranian supporter you want to make it look like so, that the attack is actually so I get that so mm-hmm. but I want to want to stay on this part what, like mm-hmm. what do you think this is like, I well, all these because I witnessed this too mm-hmm. this isn't bullshit I want to I want to keep it yeah. I took a video mm-hmm. I showed I sent yeah. y'all in the group chat like, mm-hmm. I was literally at the job um going in I was literally going into a meeting. And I seen the fucking shit go. I was like, fuck, I almost dropped my phone and shit. I was like, right. hey, what the fuck? And mm-hmm. I started recording it and I seen it going over there. So mm-hmm. something, something's happening, whatever. It, it could be small, it could be law, whatever. But I know how you think mm-hmm. and I know what you research or at least what you um, dive into as far as uh, information <clears throat> more, than the, more than the average person. Yeah. So what do you think this is and, and what its relation to Sacramento since we're seeing it? I think it's in preparation for World War III, and they're using all the airfields that are around these areas, like Mid-Bill Air Force Base. I don't know what's going on with Mather. I heard Mather was only supposed to be there for, like, FedEx and stuff like that. No, nah, I seen a private jet land yeah. there just this weekend. Really? Like, I had to tell his son. I was like, look out the window. Look how low this plane is. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was uh, I was coming up on 80 going west, and I think it was roughly around... I won't say it was Watt, but it could have been that Watt area on 80. Yeah, yeah, it was. Right yeah. there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, it's been and, active. Yeah, bro. It nah, was that was Diddy. flying low. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's it was, been active. Yeah. Bro. It was surreal when I was doing it because I was over by the Target, uh, mm-hmm. actually on the job, and I kind of just pulled off to the side. And when I pulled off to the side, what was crazy is because I kind of recorded, and somebody saw me recording, this guy in a diesel came and came up behind me. He said, sorry, I see you recording. The, What's going on? Is this World War Three? And I was just like... Bro, I don't know, man. I mean, it, we just, Iran just bombed the shit out of Israel. Like, I don't know. I don't know what this, because Israel's going to respond here soon. Within the next 24 hours, they're going to respond. So, so I was talking to him and I told him straight okay. up, I'm just like, yeah, bro, this, I don't know what to tell you. And then after that happened, two other people got out of their vehicles like, hey, what's been going on with all the flights? Right after that, I swear. Yeah, because they're, they're start, seeing these big ass planes. Cars like, are like, honking, like, 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 it's, 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 it's mm-hmm. jarring. Like, mm-hmm. if you see, you don't see that. Every, like often it was 30 like, so i counted i was counting them and i was like whoa that's number i was saying them in the video too that's number 26 that's number 27 it was over 30 planes and that's just what i counted it was over 30 big huge giant planes that just going across and their transport planes so they're transporting and the next day they went back the other way i don't know if you saw them go back the other way mm-hmm. so they're mm-hmm. transporting <clears throat> so so what do you think that is is for, like i was i, I mean i'm, I'm mm-hmm. coming double asking on this yeah but like what do you we're on the what, west coast what do you yeah what's what's Ocean. the relation with sacramento or, and why we're seeing it so much in, in reference do you think la's maybe seeing it the same we're seeing it or you think i'm i'm, mm-hmm. I'm asking in a way is it unique to sac is what i'm asking it's not that it's unique to sac it's very unusual to see that many coming through over sac like that like, oh i agree because right, i ain't never seen them like that mm-hmm. um if you ask me, they're tra- they're moving things, transporting things. I don't know why. I mean, if this is for nuclear preparation, it would be because you want to keep things away from airfields and nuclear silos. So wherever you have nuclear silos in the United States and wherever you have airfields, right. you want to take all your stuff and get it away from there. So you'll be able to have it av- readily available wherever you're transporting that. I kind of feel like they're flying overhead on the West Coast. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Now, I don't know anything about the war. I don't even know what direction to go to to get to Iran, but when I see, you know what I mean? You have to go through Iraq. 
Right, oh, right. we did it backwards. My, my, my nigga, bro. Dude, we're, we're, yeah, I mean, Israel. I meant Israel. And what? Mm-hmm. And what's the other one? Israel and Iran. They okay, could, they, right. could, they could go another way. <laughs> what do you mean? Somebody said, how do you get to Iraq? Iran. <laughs> <laughs> I got that late. But look, so I look at it like, I don't know geologically what's the quickest way to get to Iran or Israel. Is it from the West Coast? No. So if... To me, so if this World War Three does start, Dude, East Coast. China's going to get involved, and this we're going to have an issue in the Philippines. Right now, the Philippines are actually going through war. There's actually naval battles happening right now between like the Philippines and China. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. If they're sending stuff on going that direction, mm-hmm. but this is more. If you're talking about West Coast, that's going to be more like Hawaii, Japan, the Philippines, mm-hmm. China. Um, Okay, Taiwan, that whole area, because Taiwan's going to be, that's another stage of World War Three. There's like four stages. So what's the point of coming through Sacramento then if your beef ain't even West Coast or related? It makes me feel like... Well, the reason I posted the video was I'm hoping that other people see this and all of a sudden somebody goes, hey, over Arizona, we got the planes going this way too. Then we start seeing, okay, these planes are going in this direction. Mm. They're all going over here. Okay, what are they preparing for on this coast? You know what I mean? Mm. So it, that's, that's the reason why we try to post stuff online. From what I understand, I think the military base there is dormant. It's not So well, somebody else told me too. Yeah. So I think it's, honestly, I think it's just a storage unit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, what I think what Rob was saying, I think they just they just got stuff stored there. So it's like she's getting she's she's about to start popping off. So they're probably pulling from all inventories all over the, the place. The fact they did they're it within two, we need this yeah. from there, we need this from there. You know, they did it a day later. That's what's crazy after the attacks. <clears throat> that's nuts. That's what that's what makes it scary. And just hearing people honking and bro, like I know it's funny, but it's like twice it happened where somebody rolled down the window like World War Three, and I'm just like, what, bro, it ain't funny. Like they were just have, like cheering it I on. I've like, been hearing that sadly to say. Yeah. I thought you were the only person to be but able you to talk know, about but that. But you know, there's people that's gonna be like that, and I know this ain't got nothing to do with aliens. But y'all oh. remember that movie Independence Day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember before the beam shot down and blew up the building? Everybody was getting out their car because it was no, it was traffic, mm-hmm. and they was all talking shit. And some people were like, "Beam me up," like, and all that type of different. Type. Oh, it's God, always crazy. Ho- yeah, yeah. Like there's always there's always yep. weird, strange motherfuckers that's mm-hmm. just gonna say random shit. So it's always gonna be that. Like, but it, that yeah, that's I mean. what made me be like, oh. Okay, I had to call my mom. I was like, "Hey, mom, buy some extra food, water, potassium iodine pills. Like, do what you got to do. Like, <laughs> just be ready." But I just le- uh, re- recently listened to a podcast about nuclear war, and before before I wasn't really too worried about it, but now I'm like, I'm actually scared of it because it's like the way she explained it. Like, I'll give you a quick scenario what she was talking about, which was a real scenario that actually happened. Um, mm. So, United States and Russia. Russia received the error that United States sent nukes. They're on the way. Mm-hmm. So from what she said, when nukes are on the way, I believe you have nine to 11 minutes to respond. And if you don't respond in that time, it's over. So it was an error, though. So Russia, the guy that's in charge of Russia's nukes, Russia's telling them, hey, United States is sending nukes, send the nukes back. He had to make a decision. He was just like, no, nah, let's wait. He was like, let's <laughs> wait. You know, like. I don't I don't think this is real. Let's wait. While everybody's seeing the error as if the nukes are on the way. So he held out for nine minutes and he didn't send a nuke. That's what's up. You know what That's I mean? That's commendable he, right he there. Didn't, to be he honest didn't send a you. nuke back. Very commendable. But like what she was saying is like, can you imagine the pressure that he was under? Right. You know, oh, he, like right. He I, I can imagine the pressure. We've right. all seen that pressure. <laughs> mm-hmm. We all seen the dark night. The nigga that was holding that key that was oh, talking yeah. all that shit right. on the boat. Oh, right. That nigga. Yeah. Right. And he pussied yeah. out too. He yeah. couldn't yeah. do it. He was talking yeah. all that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he had to hang it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. We knew the pressure. I'm just playing. I feel you on that. And night. that makes 100% sense. If he would have launched his shits, he probably would have had to deactivate, right? Man. I don't think he can do that. And then he would have lost his new well, I think there's some type of kill switch I mean at least what movies have taught us right but he would have had he to said say, what movies have taught us but the I mean, kill switch right the kill switch right but I mean if he would have launched him and deactivated him that's a waste of a nuke or he launched him and then we're like oh what the fuck and then we launch ours too right there's a problem I felt like he did a good job if he didn't really if he waited to he find out that, that is the he, that is exactly how it would actually go is mm-hmm. basically when nukes that's why they call it nuclear winter because mm-hmm. everybody's just gonna start Sending them. Yeah. You know what? Is all this bullshit, this bullshit is happening right as gas prices are hiked the fuck up. Well, Iran is one of the biggest exporters of gas. So, yeah. It's, mm. it's, it's, we're fucking with, wow, why, why we're doing this is ridiculous. But, yeah. Yeah, that shit up. Right? That shit wow. up, bro. It's like damn near $6 a it's gallon. Um, you're yeah. going to see it by next week. It should go up and uh, it should be past, it should be at six. 
I think I think right now sure. it's like at what five eighty nine, and then it's like the, the next one's at like six oh five. Let's talk. Let's talk Arco prices. Sure, Arco no, but think prices. about inflation, bro. Out of all this shit that's up, everything. It's trash. <laughs> uh, all this shit's that's up. Everything you can eat. Fucking broccoli's up. Eggs is up. Mm-hmm. Gas is up. Everything's up. You know what's not up? Our fucking pay. No, nah, well, yeah, I, that I, that's true. But that but I'm talking about like a good something that we consume or we probably shouldn't consume. Thinking about it, but alcohol. Not nah, fucking. Burger King chicken nuggets. Them niggas <laughs> them still, still up. They still up. <laughs> them them raccoon ankles is still cheap as hell. They you know that's why ankles. them things is trash. Right. Because inflation ain't touched them niggas. I actually like their nuggets. I like the nuggets. You too. like them motherfuckers? Yeah, yeah man. No. Better Burger than, King's better, nuggets? Better than McDonald's. Even You're, though McDonald's what? has McDonald's tripping, is definitely. I'm not there. even a big McDonald's me fan. Neither, me neither. But, but you are tripping. You're tripping bro. Nah. My chick's like bad. It. My chick's good. Mc, Burger King's nuggets are hella like soggy. And, and I never get a soggy. You, you don't get the thin. Burger King nuggets when they just come out. When they're they just come out, they're perfect. I love them. You'll right take now. them over McDonald's? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all are tripping but eating chick, on these. But chicken nuggets are, are the ones from McDonald's are more uh, what's breaded. No, thick, they're thick. more co- consistent. They're more consistently good. But the big, but the Burger King, if you get it, tell, you have to tell them fresh. You have to say, no, 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 no. I don't want whatever's made. Make it fresh now. Six minutes in the fryer. And I'm bringing it to me. Nigga, y'all eat still minutes. trash. Y'all, y'all eating Yeti nipples, nigga. I like Yeti Burger nipples. King. For real. <laughs> like them things. I like, I like BK them is over horrible. McDonald's. That's local shit. Okay, no, 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 no. See, you change. See, you like to change. But that's what nigga. I'm saying. That's why I. You like I, to change. I, I like I how you like BK. to twist that. What'd he say? We talk, he said, I like Burger King over McDonald's. See, nigga, I like how you twisted that. No, I mean, I'm just the saying. nuggets is what we talking about. I like BK. You can it. literally get 20 nuggets for a dollar. That they giving them things dollar away. Dollar fifty now. Exactly. See what I'm saying? Damn. Inflation don't even hit them. Them soggy ass nuggets. <laughs> them motherfuckers are trash. Now, if you want to get into the burgers and all of the, the fries. The fries are not better than McDonald's. Mm. They're not. They're not. They're not. No, oh, stop. McDonald's. Man. Stop, bro. You need are, stop. They are taste- you trying to get a sponsor for Burger King? No, nah, but I'm just saying, like the contents are cardboard. The Burger King ones. So they're more fluffier for me. I like the crisp out of the Burger King ones. But look, here, <laughs> hear me out. I'm a fat fluffy. nigga. A fat nigga extraordinaire. I'm you know I love my shit. That's, right? that, that's the, hey, hey, he got that big back energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get that one. <laughs> my thing is, is the McDonald's fries, if you don't eat them fresh, them motherfuckers turn to plastic. No, yeah. nigga, no. McDonald's fries, cold, wrinkled as fire. It's fucking hard as shit. <laughs> it's hard as shit. I don't know about that. that no, shit. McDonald's oh, fries. No. This is the one thing. This is the one thing that McDonald's. Anybody's fries. The right. one thing that McDonald's got is that's that's <laughs> pretty much better than everybody. Is the fries when they fresh? You yeah, know, it ain't yeah. even fresh. It could be two days old. No, oh, and and this is the thing. And hell this is the nah. thing. And this is the thing. You know, because they they, you know they they've uh, I would say manufactured these French fries. To a certain, you know, like they're sprayed with like this chemical that they gotta like that turns like, them that, hard. They gotta air. Shit. No, no, it's they they basically grow certain potatoes that are a certain length, and for them to do that, they, it's a gas that they give off, and they have to go in this refinery, and it's toxic, and they have to be in there for like a week or two. It's crazy this whole process for McDonald's because they don't want no brown spots in them. Like it's it's very like if you look up, mm. it's a very unique process. It's crazy that we eat it, but it's fire as hell. But they also put a little bit of sugar in there on the salt, and it's also a little bit of uh, beef uh, seasoning. That's their recipe for the shit. This nigga making me not want to eat. No, nah, but fries I, right I just now. I just read I just watched <laughs> what how they get how well, they the get down. Beef seasoning sounded good, but no McDonald's fry um, Burger King's fries are not better. They, the one thing they got the, the burgers every every one of them is probably better. Fire every single one of them. The Whopper all of them is probably is most is. It's better. No, no arguments. But the fries and the nuggets, Nick. You, what's your fries? Give me top, top four. What you got? Ooh, top four, top four. So, just fast food. Yeah, fast food. So they gotta have a drive through. Or how about this? Uh, yeah, because if you say restaurant, then that takes it all out. Through. Fast food. Yeah, keep Why it fast. Why four? Food. Do so three. The, yeah, you're right. Do yeah, three. So mm-hmm. they gotta have a. They gotta have a drive through. Just be be clear. Okay. Um. Hmm. Mm, it's tough. Damn, I know. That's tough. Go three and a, three, right? Starting from the top. Uh, man, I ain't gonna make that number one though. 
know what? I will make it number one. Jack in the Box curly fries. Okay, you, you I'm gonna go. One, I'm you gonna go one to up. three. I'm gonna go one to three. You switch it up a little bit. Jack in the Box curly fries. Is, it be hidden. Okay. Them things be hidden because not a lot of places do curly fries and they damn sure don't do them right. Season, but Jack in the Box does them right. Season right. So crispy. I'm gonna like make them that. number one. Uh, number two, I'm gonna put McDonald's. Okay, I'm gonna put McDonald's number two. Uh, number three. Better not say Wendy's or some shit like that. Hey, Wendy's sea sauce is fu- they they is good, <laughs> but I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna have them number three. I'm gonna have Chick Fil A's waffle fries. Okay, it's number okay. three. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what I got. So I got Jack in the Box, McDonald's, and Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. What you got already? So mine's kind of similar to his. Three, I got. Um, actually, I got Del Taco. At three, they're oh, crinkly fries. Their Look, crinkle cuts, is, yeah. is off the hood. So they this is the good. thing. This I'll is gonna have to be a local thing because motherfuckers somewhere else gonna be like, "What the fuck is Del Taco?" <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I thought Del Taco was everywhere. It's not uh, everywhere. No, I think it might be just West because it's like th- th- like I almost brought up one because I was I was in that area. Uh, there's a place called uh, Checker uh, Checkers uh, Checkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't really have that out no. here. No, there was a Checkers out here. There was one. No, uh, yeah, a long time. But yeah. but we don't really have it like that. Mm-hmm. But those are fucking fire. Yeah. But I didn't bring that up because I know motherfuckers ain't going to know what we talking about. Yeah. So, but they, those are good, too. So, three, I'll go Del Taco. Two, I would say McDonald's. Okay. And uh, number one for me is Chick-fil-A. Mm. Chick-fil-A's Chris Cut, to me, they hit. Yeah. They hit. They, they, they do hit. Crazy. Tony, what you got? They just don't give you enough. <laughs> right. They don't give you enough. They don't. I don't know why. Like, <sighs> Y'all need an extra McDonald's is, is no matter what, man. <laughs> it's all, it's like, I feel like I should put it at number one. That's nigga, because you got reason, all them points, nigga. I don't, but I, I'm just not going to put it at number one just because they're, I, somehow I know they're unhealthy, which is the reason they're why. They're all unhealthy. But I, I feel like the number one that I have as the healthiest is only healthy just because they're Christian. And I'm going to go with the in and out Okay. I'm what? That would be Chick-fil-A. I'm rocking with you. Well, in and outs also like Christian. Like they, they got like some... You know, John 13, I but, in, but I think that's the weakest thing of in and out. Dude, what? Yeah, I love their fries. Number one. I'm obsessed. Yeah. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. As a California dude, this is sacrilegious. Mm-hmm. I think in and out is the most overrated spot it's trash. everybody fucking talks about. It's trash. Now and this is, is a California prices. dude. This is it's a California trash. dude talking. What a burger is better. Who? My nigga. What a, what a burger. My I've never what been burger. to what a burger. What a burger. Oh, that, that they, on, they in the South yes. and they more towards the East Coast, bro. You ain't. Get a patty mail burger from my with bro. their spicy. Kids. I've yeah, never yeah, been to yeah. Water Burgers ever. I ain't heard of one. better. It's better. It's better. Mm. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like I know motherfuckers. Everybody in and out lines be crazy. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I don't know why. It's I don't, I don't know to why. To me, I'm obsessed with them. I love them. And I, I, have, I have to me. I do so, not think they're that great at all. It's not that great. I think because no. I'm watching them make it, and I'm like, they have oh, no shit. bacon. I literally and one. I don't eat. I don't eat fast food like Wait, that. What do you mean? I don't bacon. In and Out doesn't have bacon on their burgers. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh no, why was I thinking? Because I could have sworn sometimes somebody put a uh, little the little bacon pieces on top of no. the cheese on top of a. No, that's maybe not they just did it on their own. Animal man. style, they, yeah, yeah, yeah like onions. animal style, yeah. What's they put bacon two? on it though. No, no. Maybe it was animal because animal style got no looks swine like, in like onion or something like that. It's, it's a uh, animal style, yeah. which is like the onions. Made it look like it was bacon. Cheese, yeah, that's the onion yeah. shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. that did not. But that, In and Out to me is is, is so overrated. Hot ass garbage. It's so overrated. I used to think that about their fries too. What you got? Number two. Oh, so number two is is um, <clears throat> uh, Chick Fil A because I could just eat those. So you up. said that was one. You had In and Out number one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I would rather just eat a bunch of those than the Chick Fil A ones. Yeah, and then <sighs> McDonald's. So you look at it. I'd rather have healthy tilt. Yeah, but I'd rather have McDonald's. Yeah, because open. they do just be putting a whole potato in there. They put it down and they go in the fryer. I get it. They're trash, yeah. though. But it's horrible. It's they not are. good. It's They're not good. Not. It tastes good because I eat it. I'm never. It's very Their regular. burger is, is 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 regular to mm-hmm. me. It's regular. It's not trash, but it's regular. Okay. Well, potatoes are shoes. Yeah, they're, no, the fries are horrible. I think shoes why? Because I always get a four by zero. And I don't know anywhere else you could tell them to put four patties. I mean, I guess you could, but you'll pay hella more. But I just, they always have a four by zero option. So I'm like, four by zero. God damn. Four patties and That's boom. Hella meat. Pause. Before yeah. before I say my top three, please drop a comment in the, uh, like and comment in the, you know, what's it in the chat? Like and comment YouTube. What, what am I trying to chats? say? <laughs> I know, right? In the comment section, drop your comment. <laughs> Let us know your top three fries, fast food restaurants. We want to hear it. Um, as far as me, what I got for number one, you already heard me say BK. I love BK fries. Go ahead and roast me <laughs> all you want. One? BK is number one for me, bro. God. I love their fucking fries. I would have respect you more if you said they chicken fries. Fries. Those are cool. <laughs> I got some bad chicken fries. I don't fuck with those. Yeah, they just they um, just longer fucking chicken nuggets right. from them. 
Number two, I got the Chris Cut fries at Carl's Jr. Oh mm. my God. I love those seasoned Chris Cut fries. Those are horrible. Yeah. Nigga, yo, you, your fries suck. It's better your than the Chick fil A ones, them plain ass, non salted trick. You are tripping. Nah, nah, them things are perfect. You they are they're made with love at Chick fil A. <laughs> Facts. Nah. I mean, they're good. You they tripping. just ain't got no seasoning. Bro, right? the, the spirit of about. Jesus has <laughs> made, those, <laughs> they made those fries. <laughs> I'm not going to let you disrespect oh, him. You uh, tripping. Number three, I got In and Out. I like the In and Out fries Dude, as well. So, bro, I'm, I'm, bro, all your fries is trash. You Fat about to go viral for that list? Fat that boy is, over here, man. That I'm list just is saying. Go eat a bag of this. <laughs> hey, I said I like the motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, right? That's why your taste buds oh. is all fucked up. <laughs> he did say he liked the. Make sick, sick. <laughs> Nigga, you sick? I am, bro. <laughs> Fat boy sickness. All right? nice. I you love it. You said Burger King number Burger, one. Burger, I don't know what it is. You had Burger King. They're crispy. You, you know said what I mean? Carl's Jr. Lightly salted. The Carl's <laughs> and you Jr. said, yep. and you say fucking in You got to say Chris Cuts, though, because they're regular fries I don't fuck with. I don't fuck Carl's with their regular Jr. fries Carl's Jr. to me is, I, I, I don't even know why Carl's Jr. is still in business. They're expensive as fuck, They're too. expensive for no their reason. Their burgers are good, though. They're charboy burgers. No, no, I stopped going to them. The only thing that they had, they had one thing that was super unique. And it was somewhat healthy. Breakfast burger? No, they the had the turkey burger. They had oh, the turkey burger, what? which was good. It was a good ass fucking burger. I never heard that. Bro, but it's been gone for like years now. Gone, like they used to have it. Off? It was a turkey burger. It was fucking fire. But that's all they had. Everything else is like, I'll go somewhere else. Mm. Like nah, Their burgers is late. <clears throat> I don't think so. They shit's late. Any charboil boogers? Charboil B- boogers? Burgers? Yeah, okay. Burgers. Yeah, some boogers. Yeah, yeah that's what you, that. yeah, that's what them fries are. <laughs> boogers. I'm just saying. Drop your comment in the chat, man. Tell me if I'm wrong, man. I want to see how many other people fuck I'm, with Burger I'm, King. I'm, I'm telling you, you wrong. All right, well, let, I think let it's just us know. Like the crown. So would you, would you rather have some Burger King fries or some Wingstop fries? And so when he mentioned the whole no drive through Wingstop was going to be in there because I fuck with Wingstop and okay. the little sugary fries. Okay. I fuck with those. Yeah. Okay. I'll eat those up. They're a little bit more soggier than most, but yeah. I mean, you know, with the with the sugar and the salt on there, they, they, their they ranch got them goes like, crazy. Yeah. I feel like they make their ranch or something like yeah, that. that shit it's, goes, it's fresh. We might need to watch what we say, though. Why you, know, you know, because you know, fast food places, yeah, like Chipotle. You might get shot over some guacamole. Man, when I heard so, this, this shit's crazy. Like, a dude somewhere at a Chipotle, dude was getting, you know, stingy with the guac. And dude went back there trying to do his own shit. And they tried to tussle with him, and he shot the worker. Over the guac. Over the guac. I mean, they do charge extra for the guac, but shit. A nigga got to get shot over the shit? That's fucking nuts to me. I mean, I will say this, man. There's been a lot it's, more. There's a lot of sick what? people out here, though. Yeah, there's mm. been a just lot more. It's like some people just food. ain't wrapped too tight, man. You know, that's just this. It's a last straw situation for them. Like they got a lot of shit. You know, it's not about the guacamole. It's something else going on in that person's life. But like, yeah, I get it. But it's like also, I don't know, man, because I don't go there no more because I be arguing with them too much because they want to sit here. I don't want to pay extra for the chicken. Just give me extra chicken. Like, give me a good, good scoop. Because I seen you just, you just lackadaisically put it in there. Like, come on, give me a good we, we, scoop. I well, that's extra. No, a good scoop. But, but I, I'm, 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 I'm a hundred percent with you, Tony. Ugh. But I just not, I'm not shooting them over it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna beat the ass. Huh? So, Tony, how do you, <laughs> oh, shit. Tony, how do you go down the line in Chick Fil A? Backwards. Oh, Chick Fil A. I mean at uh, uh, Chipotle. Oh, at Chipotle. Oh, bro, just. You know, I don't. It depends if I'm trying to eat healthy. I don't do the tortilla. I just do the, you know, the bowl. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I just get the black beans, uh, brown rice. Do the um, trying to think. Oh, the chicken, and then I tell them just a good scoop. I don't want the two scoop to where you charge me twice. I just want a good scoop. You don't need to charge me twice, right. bro. Just give me a good scoop. But we, you. we, we, you know the way you're supposed to do it, though. How do you? Uh, well, you go, you go in, and you, you say what you want. You say you want the chicken bowl. So mm-hmm. You tell them whatever you know the the meat you want on there, chicken, steak, mm-hmm. whatever it is. You tell them you just want that. They put on the chicken. Now they about to start taking you over to like the produce side where they put in the pico or the corn or whatever. But once they over there, then you be like, you know what, my man, I want I'm, I need I want double chicken because I don't mind paying. I'm good with paying the double. I'm good with it. But Ooh. I want a real scoop though. 
Right. When you tell them you oh, want a see, regular bowl, yeah, 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 they give you a decent, you know, your own portion a of nice chicken. Spoon. Mm-hmm. They yeah. give you a good portion of chicken. When you hit them with the double joint, they got the double up on that now. Now you can't half ass this shit because when you hit them with the double early, yeah, true. Them niggas try to give you like a half scoop first, mm-hmm. and they be like, "Oh, they give you another one like that's double." You got oh, me yeah. fucked up, bro. Yeah, I said <laughs> double. You go in and it's inflation. That doubles yeah. more now. That's just like three dollars mm-hmm. now. Damn, for double. So you go in with the with the mentality of getting the double. I'm just talking about like I just want the one chicken. You know what I mean? But don't half ass my one yeah, chicken. Yeah, nah. But you gotta. Yeah, I, I'm cool with getting the double because I want more of the protein, so I'm with it. Yeah. But it's but but yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta finagle, man. Right. You just say chicken. You don't get that new chicken that they got. What is that roast rotisserie chicken in there? No, I haven't that's tried just, that. That's yet. just kind of oh, fire. Though. That. That's just kind of fire. That. Isn't it the what's the name? The not rotisserie. It's the, like. Uh, Al polio or uh, uh, something like that. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It's chicken, different than the regular yeah. chicken. Because I just went, I just went there. Um, Why are you pointing at this nigga? Because you expected him to say it in Spanish. He knows what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. You do, nigga. It's, uh, it's the chicken that be on the thing and they slice it like this. Oh, the pastor. Pastor. The pastor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is there. They did have that. Oh yeah, because Jordan. We went after uh, Jordan's uh, game. We was in. Uh, we was in fucking Yuba City. And we went out there, and um, he, had, they had it there, and he tried it. I didn't try it, but he tried it. Uh, I just got the regular shit. I'm mm. simple, bro. My bowl is uh, the same shit every time. I don't be changing up. Rice, black beans, lettuce, medium sauce, corn. So chicken, that one actually had no rice. Cream. I didn't have no rice. I just had salad, double chicken, pico, and that's it. Damn, a shot. Fuck. Damn, that's it. Like I just, got, like I got. Like, I almost got kicked out because I was arguing with the motherfucker. I was like, does this I come out that. of your fucking check? Does this come out of your check? But that's what I'm saying. Fuck, like, bro? this is Give why I'm not. Chicken. See, you surprised. You say it's crazy and nuts. <laughs> I don't because I see this nigga and I work with him. I'm like, <laughs> my bro, it don't come out of your check, right? It ain't too far to go from whooping somebody's ass to yeah. pulling out a pistol. Popping them. Oh, like, it's no. like, so I could see. Do you have to travel somewhere far to kill the chicken? No, you yeah. don't do none of that, bro. Give yeah. me that. Give These, me they, chicken. Things could escalate. I can see that going down. The dude probably, you know, he probably just lost his there's job. A, there's a hack to Ch- uh, Chipotle too. Like if you order like a side of chicken, mm-hmm. it's cheaper than I think the double I, chicken. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's, it's weird. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, you you, you learning me? Something. That's a TikTok. Yeah. yeah, you need a TikTok. Yeah, no, yeah. The, I think I seen it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, they be trying. They be I, giving you the goods. Yeah, I remember Justin. Shout out to Justin Golson. Um, he always used to go to Chipotle and get everything on the side. He'll get t- tortilla, chicken, everything on the side. And he would come back and make his burrito, but he would only pay like five, six bucks. A lot of people are <laughs> that doing that. That nigga got right a now. taco bar. Yeah. They're taking their, yeah. <laughs> they're taking their <laughs> He got everything on the side. They're taking the Chipotle bowling, wrapping it in a tortilla, and refrying that shit. I've been seeing that online a lot lately. Bowl, hold shout, up. Shout out to, it was, yeah, they've been burrito bowl, and they'll get like a side tortilla, or I have a tortilla. They'll take whatever's in the burrito bowl, wrap that bitch up, and then skillet it, like fry the burrito again. And, and oh, oh, they're doing it at home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you meant Chipotle deep fry. <laughs> no, like, that worker gonna think twice now. I bet you he gonna he gonna make sure that everybody get the right portion. And that's why they say <laughs> that's why they that tell right you now. don't be don't hey, be so, with hey, all sacrifices uh, ain't created equal, my man. Mm. And this was the sacrifice. That dude gonna be locked up for a minute, but we we now the Chipotle workers is on notice. Y'all niggas on notice. <laughs> Like, Fill that don't, fucking don't, cup up with guac. Don't, don't start getting stingy mm-hmm. with the fucking shit. I feel like they're already, you never know. You they're never already know. so lenient and gracious with their shit. You know what I mean? Like, I know he was tripping over the, the full scoop and shit. I feel like those scoops be nice. It'd be the big ass. They typically are, but he sometimes get an asshole. And no, he's gotta get, yeah, yeah, I agree with it. Sometimes you get somebody that's hella weak on the line. Right? And, it's, and, they, and just, they just try to make it hella quick. It's, it's also, too, it's like, you know who you need? The, mm. best, the best Chipotle worker is, is the new one. That don't give it's them the no, one yeah. that the one that don't know shit. Right, <laughs> they just they just scooping shit. Yeah, the one that's been there for a minute. It's like see management's on their ass. They yep. micromanaging <laughs> them. They already on them. They already got on their second write up. Right, because they giving out too much chicken. So they just hella scared. Yep. So they just giving you half the shit. See, I need I want that newbie. They be like, oh, we got a new guy. Perfect. Hey, right here, dog. Right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here. Hey. The first day, <laughs> scoop. You, you you stick that scoop. spoon all the way at the bottom, yep. and you pull up, you put it in there. That's the perfect one. And somebody say, "Oh, that's too much." Hey, you shut up. <laughs> he ain't talking to you. Less the school is in session right now. 
You shut up. <laughs> Don't be contaminating this worker. <laughs> Hey, but shout out to bruh, man. You made a big sacrifice for all of us. We mm-hmm. all gonna get our mm-hmm. our appropriate portions now. What's bruh's name? Uh, Guac Man. <laughs> Guac Man. <laughs> Speaking about old boy's name, um, hop in this topic real quick. Uh, top ten blackest names. I actually almost gave my son a, a super black. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to call it super black, but I, I really wanted to call him and name him Deshaun. And the wife mm-hmm. turned I that down. I liked it. I, I thought Deshaun was good. She's like, why you got to put the duh in front of it? It's like, duh, LaQuisha. I'm like, bro, yeah, get up out of here. Like, it's just a good name. It's a strong right, name. Right, right. Deshaun, that's what I thought. You know what I mean? But, you know, my little guy, you know, Jackson. It she is just went is. with Jackson. He was you like, know? man, I want this dude to get a job. Oh, sometimes you gotta play that card. <laughs> That's what you, you gotta play that card. Yeah, you know? I, feel, yeah I feel it. What's his name? I'm Tyrone, and I'm here to fuck your wife. That's for sure. <laughs> Long dick style. I, 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 <laughs> I shout out to that dude. Them videos was hella funny. For real. <laughs> I've never seen a white Tyrone. Never. No. <sighs> That's facts. Never seen a white Tyrone. That's facts. Yeah, that's that true. Is, that is a black ass name right there. Yeah, Tyrone is, and it's not it's not too heavy of a black ass name. It's just a black ass name. I don't know why, but no, nah, it's heavy. That's how pretty. black? How how far black? Like I don't even think you can be light skinned with Tyrone. Facts. <laughs> We're talking about this. Mo- be, like what light skin y'all know named Tyrone? Let's yeah. be let's keep it a buck. Right. I don't know. Nobody. No, ain't no white Tyrone. <laughs> you know? Nope. No. White boy. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out! Hey, <laughs> hey, shout out to Rick Ross, Ricky Rose. <laughs> <laughs> he, hey, I don't. Even, we, I, we could have a whole that hour conversation funny. about the battles oh, and beefs, shit. but we'll we'll actually dive into that at the end. I mean, because there's so much new shit that's coming out with those battles, but beefs. But let's talk, let's stay on this topic of names, right? Because Tyrone is one that I don't feel like that'll swing both ways. Neither, I was damn. I had a name. Too. Just male names, in general. Mercedes. That's what I was gonna say. Mercedes. I ain't never met a white girl named Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, but I, but I, but I know, I know Spanish girls named Mercedes though, yeah, and I mean, and Filipino like Asian. I, I've I've seen that. Okay. okay. White. Okay. But I, but I have. This is according to a list that I seen. <laughs> this list is according to ABC News. So just I'm gonna just put out the list first, and then we can dive into it. Number ten is precious. All right, number nine. Come on, you shouldn't name nobody. Precious, is man. is 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 Terrell. Number eight is Aaliyah. Seven is Daryl. Six. <laughs> Damn, I, I know a white Daryl. Walking Dead. Daryl. Six is Shanice. Five is okay. Marquise. God damn. Four is Ebony. Okay, Ebony. Three yeah. is DeAndre. Ain't no Tyrone. Yeah. Marquise should be Hold higher. Up. higher. Number two is Imani. Imani. I know a Indian Imani. Like that then, ain't she. Let me get to the number one. And number one is Rob Coates. Yeah, you stupid nigga. <laughs> uh, Deshaun. God damn. Oh, well, I guess I'm glad I didn't name that little nigga that, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> damn. So that if was, anybody's that, out that there got newborns little... coming out. I don't know. I understand. Would you say that needed to be higher, Shakish or no, Marquise? I thought Tyrone should have been on there. Well, I definitely believe Tyrone should have been on yeah. there. Mm-hmm. And Jerome. <laughs> Daryl. Because Dar- I'm thinking about yeah. names that no other race has. Right. right. Like, that's what I got to think about. Like, even when I when I read that list, like that list. That? You got a cousin named Daryl? My uncle that just recently passed Your away. Your uncle? You have an uncle I, got, or I have a cousin named Daryl. You have an uncle or cousin named Daryl? I have no Daryls in the family. No, really? Yeah. Okay, I have a Daryl too. That's crazy how everybody has a Daryl except for you. Yeah. yeah. Imani shouldn't be on Bro, there. I got a Daryl and, 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 and Darnell. Daryl and Darnell. Mm. Uh, that, both my cousins. But yeah, I would say Terrell, yeah. Yeah. Daryl, yeah. Shanice, See, no, but the Daryl yeah. shouldn't be on there, bro. Mar- Marquise, yeah. Okay. Uh, DeAndre. Those are the, the the list ain't bad. The yeah. list ain't bad. I just do think Aaliyah, I know, transcends other races. I know because obviously the art, you know, the singer. Mm-hmm. So got a cousin named Aaliyah. Um, but I know 
but yeah, out of out of, there's two on this list that to me can be other races. Let's I feel see. like you for it to be a top blackest name can no other race. Right, had that name, and I definitely believe Jerome and Tyrone is on yeah. is on that list. Yeah, that's for sure. So, like I said, I don't know so, a light skin on this planet named Tyrone. So, who either. shouldn't be on that list? Then, who what name? What names do you feel like if uh, Aaliyah both? probably shouldn't be on the list eh. just because, just because other races have that name. Okay, uh, Daryl's one because that's obviously that's that's other races could right. be on that. Precious. That can, that could be anybody, to be honest with you. Okay. But the rest of them, yeah. You nah, think Imani should be on there? I don't feel like Imani. I know Imani. Imani. I, 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 only, I've, I don't know nobody else that's, except that's been black that's, that's had that name. I, I have one that's, well, oh, damn, when you say it like that, she is half black and half Indian. Wait. No, nah, they they Trinidadian. Is that black now? Is Trinidadian black? That would be considered that, yeah. Oh, shit. Well, Trinidadian and Mexican shit. Because you got to think about it. Like Marquise, what, what other race outside of black is named Marquise? I, I ain't never seen a Marquise. Yeah. Like Marquise. Ebony. Come on now. Eb- it's Ebony. Ebony. Come on now. Yeah. DeAndre. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, nah. I, I, I would take out Aaliyah and I would take out Daryl off this list. And I would plug in Jerome and Tyrone. Yeah. I'm with you on the Tyrone. Yeah. I'm telling you. What y'all got? Any other random black names? These are more to me. These names are not just because we could go real, real nuts with it. Mm-hmm. There's some people got some names that's like, 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 like definitely somebody was high when what, they when they came up with the name. What's that meme video with the teachers in there? With the teach with the new like it's like the the new millennium of like black names. And he's a he's a teacher naming out names like you know you're supposed to say here if you're present you know oh, what I mean. I see that. <clears throat> you're talking be- about uh, Key and Peele. No, a- not Key and about that one. No, it's it's a uh, no. It, that was reverse. He was trying to make fun of the fact of like regular names. Right. That was that's what that was. Right. They just mix it up. They did all kinds of things. like the teachers trying to pronounce the names, but then the, the students give them the name like what it is. Mm-hmm. It's pretty funny. They go back and forth. I don't remember what it I've is. I've seen like, that. I know you're talking. Yeah, about. it's hella funny. But the teacher can't even pronounce the words because they said crazy names now, like Bro, some, Dennis, some, some Dennis these, Quanti or something crazy. Some of these names, names the some fuck? of these names are ridiculous, man. Like mm-hmm. some, some of them are just like you, you, you really named this person that. Yeah. Like, what I think of is uh, that Key and Pill skit them being football players announcing their name. Oh, t- Traverius Dercarius Ta- Tax Theatrics. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was funny too because yeah. I liked. Uh, he was talking to, uh, he was talking to a dude that uh, he covers sports. The dude that that does a show, he does more sports. He's on a uh, Good Morning Football. Uh, uh, one of the white dudes. That's I, I know. There's a whole bunch of white dudes. Anyway, oh uh, Peter. There's either Peter, I don't know which uh, I don't know which one it is. The one that does the Angry Runs dude. The Angry Run dude. I don't know if it's him, but I know he was doing the show. He was hosting the show and he had uh, Key on there. And so Key was basically telling the story about how that whole came, that whole thing came about with the whole college name, the, the whole thing where he was doing it, right? Mm-hmm. And he said that um, that Peel was the one who did, really did it all. So he came, he basically broke down the concept of how Monday Night Football mm-hmm. would do the intros for the players, and it was the Charles Woodson episode is the one that inspired Peel mm-hmm. to do it. So basically, he. He kind of gave him the concept. He he didn't know football like that, though. Peel didn't really know football. He just played a lot of Madden. This is what Key is saying. Mm. And he said one night he came up with all them names in one night. God damn. Peel hey. came up with all them names in one night. Those two are freaking dynamic together. The skits that they be doing is is borderline offensive but funny as fuck. Yeah. Um, and, and to know that they was used to doing these funny skits and comedies to literally directing some really – impactful movies that you wouldn't think they were I think they had a good they had producing. a good blueprint to go from you know uh with the Chappelle show. Mm. They they had a good blueprint. They were on the Chappelle show? No, they they built their show oh, okay. kind of okay, off of based that. on that. They yeah. they used that that skit that that schematic of what how Chappelle show was mm-hmm. and they I mean they made their own they made they did funny shit. I'm not going to say they wasn't funny. It was. They mm-hmm. did, definitely had tons of episodes that were funny, but they they definitely they benefited from seeing something as well and as as 
original as that the Chappelle show was mm-hmm. to go with that. So I wonder, did they start their show after Chappelle's show stopped or before, during? No, they started after. After, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, man, we got to talk about the shit. You talking about the beef? You know, people want to hear about this. Oh, my shit. God, man. <laughs> Yo, I know I've been sending y'all to these diss tracks, which you brought up a very interesting point about the ai situation yeah so the one that you tell. sent that one right. that last one you sent that was ai that, that was, was not kendrick that was not kendrick that no, came back that with was not disc. and there's another one that drake did not push-ups Just it push-ups. was another one that he did or he didn't do somebody else did mm. they engineered and it was ai i ain't gonna lie they need to sign both them niggas right. it was fucking whoever gas. whoever whoever did both of them right. both of them were fire i thought they, they were they were they they were legit the k dot rebuttal yeah, went hard, but it, but I knew that was the thing. It wasn't the voice, okay, and it wasn't the wordplay that threw me off. Mm. What it was was the choice of words. It was too aggressive. That's where I knew it mm. was AI mm. because none of it has gotten to that point where mm. they talk about killing each other. And as soon as he started talking about that, I was like, that ain't that ain't that but ain't he, Kendrick. He threw the Compton, and you know Compton niggas don't play. Yeah, like but no, nah, but he's he's not. I don't nah, think Engel I don't think was, it's getting. I don't think it's getting to that. Englewood's always up to no like, good. You shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> this nigga always sitting with some bullshit. Um, but no, let's let's get let's before we go into the AI stuff because that is a big thing, and mm. I and I think that that definitely brings a an interesting element as it comes to just entertainment but mm-hmm. also just rap beef in general because it's like now you got to really determine if you really saying the shit or not but uh rick ross and drake right now let's start with drake because the last episode episode 104 take a moment check out episode 104 with Madi um at black screen studio we that was the night that that Drake disc was supposed to be dropped. We never yeah. really got a chance to talk about it, but when I rewatched that episode, Rob, you was on point, bro. You was on point before we even heard the album when you said, "I don't feel like it's gonna be a diss towards just Kendrick. It's gonna be everybody." I but I I, I want to take all that credit on that. I think there's a lot of people that thought that that was coming. I didn't think it was coming. I thought I, it, the beef was just with K Dot and maybe nah, Future. I knew I knew I knew Metro was gonna get it. I knew Future was gonna get it. I yeah. knew Ross. I, I just felt like because it was so much swirl. Because I, I think from from Drake's perspective, I think he's looking at it like. In all honesty, there's a lot of artwork around it too. That I think that's what might be influencing my opinion. But it's like I think he feels like he's Thanos. Drake. And everybody else is the Avengers trying to take him out. Drake? Yeah. And I think he feels like he really feels this way. I think he feels like he's being jumped. It's twenty on one. He and, said it. And and I think he's going at it from from that perspective. Which, like I I've said this so many times. I'm not the the biggest like fan of his. I don't think he's just the best as, as he may be proclaimed. I understand his longevity. I can't deny that. But I'm just not the biggest fan of his music. I, there's other artists out there I prefer to listen to. But with with that being said, I do think it's kind of interesting that all these guys now are like doing this Voltron style combination and mm-hmm. going at this one dude. Mm-hmm. It, it kind of validates validates him Mm -hmm. drake right because you're like you you need all i do think kendrick is operating on his own Mm -hmm. i think he's got his own plan but everybody else like rick ross a lot of these other guys hopping on the weekend him and drake always has some weird relationship you know there's a lot of a lot of stuff with them both being from canada they got some shit uh you know obviously metro and future and stuff like that but i it does come off like manufactured a little bit um but I ain't gonna lie. When Drake sent his out, I thought his response was dope. Fire. Right, the push-ups. I thought it was dope. I thought it was a good response. Yeah. I thought it was a good response. I'm not gonna lie. That Rick Ross shit is funny as hell to me. What do you mean when he when he talked about Rick? He's Ross or taking Rick a Ross? he to me in my opinion. Rick Ross is taking a page out of the Fifty Cent book. Oh, he coming on what, at him. on what Fifty did to him. He coming at him. Oh, no, but no, he's he's trying to win the petty war. Mm-hmm. He's going at. He's trying to win the petty war because he know he ain't gonna wear, be able to win the bar war. You're not going to be able to win that. You're not going to be able to win the top track war. Mm-hmm. Drake's going to get those numbers. He's got to win another way. Right. 
Yeah. And I think he's going at it from the funny shit and the fact that he's harping on the whole fact that he had plastic surgery. Well, he's claiming he had plastic surgery. I don't I don't even know if that's true or not. Yeah, mm. Dre. Beep, that shit's <laughs> funny to me. That shit is so fucking funny to me. I, I I hear what you're saying on that because Rick Ross even came out with another Instagram after his beef. Bro, right? their DMs are going back and forth. But after the beef, he was like, man, you ain't never seen, you know, we making it over here. Ain't nobody from my team out on the street. He was throwing a diss at Birdman because Birdman... I'm not going to say he got evicted, but, you know, he lost his house. You know what I mean? For whatever the situation is. And he came at him like, look, man, none of my homies is homeless. You know what I mean? If you got it, man, put that 50 million up and get your man who got you bread, you know, back in the house. You know, but like, ain't lying. you know, uh, yeah, but I mean, shit. I mean, you bird, man, you flying anywhere. Then why somebody else got to put up for you? And I feel you. You know, you helped Drake get to where he at. The whole nine. I get that. The whole situation. Lil Wayne helped him get there. There's an argument. Be Whatever. He was clowning him, right? And, and it almost took away from Drake's beat and his beef. The subliminals that was in Drake's shit is fucking nuts. And I found out that he was talking about something about Whitney and the bodyguard. You know, Whitney didn't need a bodyguard, this, that, and the other. And K-Dot's wife's name is Whitney, supposedly who cheated on K-Dot with the bodyguard. You know what I mean? Like, he was throwing... Drake was throwing subtle. No, hold on. Say that again? Yes. There was a line in the disc from Drake that talked about Whitney having bodyguards. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I got to play the whole track again. I fucking lost it. But it was like Whitney and the bodyguards. You don't need them. K-Dot's wife name is Whitney. Whitney stepped out on Kendrick with the bodyguard. And so like. like the, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So like mm. these subliminals is coming out that nobody knew about. We just hear him talking about Whitney bodyguard, this, that and the other. And you sure like, you fat checked on this? Let's yes. Not turn into a Tony situation. Yes. Honestly, I've been paying real close attention to this. Beef. It's <laughs> been interesting. Let's not, let's not turn this no. into an Aaron Rodgers it's, it's been situation, real, bro. It's Good been Lord. real interesting. So I've been Lord paying attention to index. it. So, so Warren, I want to get your, get your opinion on this, man. What you, what you, what you thinking about this? Um, I, I think it's I think I, I think you're right. I think Rick Ross is like taking it real petty. Yeah. But I mean Drake's being real petty too though. Like I don't know if you guys seen it, but um he sent drummers outside of That's just funny too. Metro <laughs> Metro Boomers. Metro Boomers. Yeah, you know what Shut I mean? Shut your bitch ass and get some like, drugs. And then like he's been, you know, he's been pretty much spamming them on his on his story like yeah he sent the he did the drum line for the movie drum line, drum line. that yeah. shit was yeah, funny yeah, it's yeah. funny so it's yeah. just funny it, it like, is, i'm not gonna funny. lie i'm i'm with it i'm it with is. all of this right right i'm it not I'm, I'm 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 general you know full admission I'm, full admission i'm this. interested to see where it goes i mean i know yesterday Rick as long Ross, as they still keep it funny i don't want to get to the point where like oh we got to fight and we got to get, get violent you, the way the niggas i don't is want talking, it to get it's, like it's that, way. End that way i don't i don't even feel that i don't feel like it will well see rick ross he came out yesterday and he was just like hey dude if you want to get personal we like, we could go there you know i think so, he already has gone personal he basically said he did michael jackson he I fucking think, got a nose job. I think that's surface level. And, and then got and then got plastic. I said he was hanging with Diddy. He threw Diddy out there. But they all did hang with Diddy. I don't think you want to throw that out there. Them all them niggas got a picture with Diddy. And I, I think <laughs> I Rick, think that's why ain't none of them. Real, I don't think they're gonna want to go down that road. I think Rick Ross is being like everything to me that's been said so far has been surface. Like what Pusha T did to Drake, that was personal. Brought you know what I mean? Like he, right. re, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was beyond like, oh, you, you ugly or you got surgery. Like that's just whatever shit. True. But like the shit that he exposed on Drake was like, damn nigga, like you open him up to the whole world. Like if they start getting to that level, that's when you're gonna be like, all right, let's 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 hear these fools go bar for. That's bar. what I'm thinking right now. All it is is just on some funny shit. Right now it is, and yeah. I'm liking it. I'm right I, I'm I'm like it's the whole thing, and some and you know there's a lot of people out there. That have the opinion, and it's fine. Everybody got their own opinion. I get it, but they had that whole opinion of, oh, like, why do y'all care about this rap shit? This ain't real life. This ain't da 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 da. Why are you wasting so much time talking about that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you the same answer that Denzel gave motherfucking Ethan Hawke in that goddamn diner when he was trying to read that newspaper. He said this newspaper is 95 percent bullshit, but it entertains me. Hmm. So now you got to entertain me. You won't let me read my shit. Mm -hmm. Now you entertain me with your bullshit. Right, right, right. Like let me just deal. With, let me just have this. FYI, he's talking and referring to the movie Training Day. Correct. Okay. And it's like so. Just 
just let me just just let me talk my shit. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all. That's all it is. If you don't want to talk about it, cool. If it don't interest you, cool. But it's like this is funny to me, mm-hmm. and I think mm-hmm. I, I do like to see where this is going to end up. Nice. I, I still waiting for where Kendrick going to be. It, it's one hundred percent entertaining in the beginning. I know they should be leading. Like I said, I mentioned the fight with Jake Paul exposition. I feel like it should get to that point. Like if the beef goes that far, I don't want to go there. I, I mean, that makes why it real not, corny. Then that makes it real corny. We are already so tuned into this beef and argument. We're we're willing to accept the AI responses that are coming out right now. That's how tuned in everybody is, right? And if that's the case, it's gonna get to a point where it's like, all right, now it's dull, it's boring. They can't do nothing besides fight to keep this fucking suspense at a high level. Right now, uh, uh, I have uh, not been listening to music like this. In a long no, ass time. I think that is that That'd is one of the. I think that's one of the benefits, though. I think it is kind of to that point where we're we're listening to the music, we're listening to the lyrics to hear mm-hmm. the subs and waiting for about it. certain rap, especially like that's all we was doing when that when that Metro booming. Uh, we still don't trust you out, which was fire too. Them dudes yeah. hit back to back. Both of them albums yeah. was fire, mm. but we was listening so closely. Mm-hmm. Trying to hear any little thing that we could think about. It was like, oh, it's had a shot at this person. Mm-hmm. It's had a shot at this mm-hmm. person. Right. We're paying attention to the music, you know, as far as the relationships of these these uh, these artists and stuff. So right. it's it's entertaining at the end of the day. It's just entertaining. All these dudes is just poets you said on that. beats. You said that, uh, you know. Yeah, not fighters. That's why they shouldn't fight. Right. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, I don't yeah. want it to get no extra. It don't need to get to that point. This, dude, this real dudes with the street shit, leave that to them. That's mm-hmm. not you. Well, what's so fascinating is you're starting to realize how many people don't like Drake. Like the weekends from his own country don't fuck with him. He's this. But they they've always you know had I mean? that because I think I think <clears throat> the weekends attitude about Drake has always been the that, that, that they, like he like he bit his style and it was this was early on. I thought like, Drake put him on. They, 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 yeah, he they, did. But they, but he feels like I think he felt like he kind of bit off of him in a way. Mm-hmm. Like there's like as far as with the singing part. <clears throat> Um, but but I, I, I they've always had a weird dynamic right. mm. when it comes to their to their relationship. Well, it's like even ASAP Rocky, he dissed him. You know, like Metro. We know Metro now. Future don't like him. Like there's so many people coming out against against that's Drake. But that's Strange. what I'm thinking too. And like I like I was saying, I think that also is it's easier to just go after the dude that I, I guess is proclaimed to be number one. Right, right, and right. it's like they try to take him off. His they, 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 I, I feel like that that's. The more and more people hop on, I know y'all watch the Supreme Dreams, them dudes mm. that do the skits. They did the whole shit where everybody was beefing with Drake and oh Kendrick and bro, they Chris had, Brown was in there. Bro, they had Chris Brown, yeah. Common, <laughs> fucking Chance the Rapper, <laughs> fucking yeah. Ludacris, and yeah. then at the end with Diddy, that that shit was hella funny. Yeah, I did see that. But what but what it speaks to is like the more people I think that start hopping on. I think that more validates him. Mm. Ooh, Drake. Yeah. 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 I think because it's something else. I don't I think it's I think it's how Drake moves. Like to me, where there's smoke, there's fire. And there's definitely smoke with Drake. Like like when Rick Ross came out and said he he unfollowed Drake because mm-hmm. he sent a cease and desist to French Montana. Right. For right, a song. right. Nobody knew that. Mm. You I know what I'm saying? For a song. I ain't gonna I lie, that, that is kind of petty though. You know, it is. So I think it's like I think a lot of niggas mm. in the industry see how Drake moves, mm. and they don't really fuck with that fool like that. You know what I mean? I think he does. A I agree lot with of, that. A lot of shit that people don't see. No, I. It's real slimy. You know what? But, I don't even know if it's that. I, I to be honest, and I, I have no, I have no inside information on this. We don't mm-hmm. know shit. We just phone niggas talking. You know what it is. But I'm, I, I think it's deeper than that. I think they look at most guys in rap, and all these dudes really ain't really with the streets. I don't give a fuck any any of the best rappers you guys talk about. These guys ain't really you motherfuckers is poets. The baby on drum beats. That's the baby. it. The baby. Most of these guys Everybody is poets, the bro. Like at the, the end of the day, like you guys, is, you guys are most the vast majority mm. of these guys are poets on drum beats. Who but, actually just came, the baby just came out with a dope ass freestyle by the way I, I did say it was on like that I yeah, did hear that, that shit was um, I heard but that. I'm looking at it from most of these guys that have this persona of this street persona like that they tough they gangster all that type of shit whether they are or not let's put that to the side mm-hmm. I think they feel like they they solidified and certified in this shit and I think they look at Drake as an outsider. I think they look at him 
as somebody that feel like has been a a culture vulture of rap and hip hop. They didn't really grind their way like the traditional way that hip hop artists usually do. And he got to the top, not doing it the same way they did it. He's, I think there's some of that too. He's the Kevin Harder rap. I could see that, Ooh. Tony. I, I, I can <laughs> that 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 is pretty spot on, I feel Damn. like. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's pretty. So you spot saying on. he a plant, like what, what like a Cat <laughs> Williams said? He a plant? Mm. That's I, that's that's interesting. That's pretty I, spot I'm, on. That's For that's like, interesting. You said something a few minutes ago that I didn't get to chime in on. You said that Metro Brooming came out with you know their hot album, and now you're reading through the album as if there's speaking some of that they'll be they will be here September third, Sacramento. Are, yeah. They tour will be hitting Sacramento. That's what's up. It also you. had me. Uh-huh. I think I just recently I'm seen. Trust you. Mm-hmm. I just recently seen a, a TikTok where they were trying to pull the subliminal out of the whole Drake, like uh, you know, when he was sitting outside and he's like, uh, "Into the rest of you, the rest of you," and he like gets up and he's looking at you, like, "Who the fuck was he talking to?" At that point, before this beef started, they're kind of trying to say that that was him talking about like Metro. At that time, he could have been. Beef, you he know? could have been. There's a lot of shit that's going on that we. Don't I, 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 there's a lot. That you, Warren said it a couple of weeks back. Like, like there's stuff that we're not privy to. There's information. Mm-hmm. There's there's relationships that have, you know, that have have come together and bridges that have been burned right. between a lot of these guys that that really hasn't come to the to the you know the front. You no know, one knows for us it. to see. Right. Right. And there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes, mm-hmm. and I think some of that is now coming out. Now, obviously, you know he's talking about the plastic surgery shit, and he's talking about obviously you saying the C- the situation with the cease and desist mm-hmm. letter. Like that's new information, right? Yeah. I do think that's kind of weak. Why they beefing? If that's the root of why y'all beefing, that's just sad. <laughs> you know, that's just that's just sad to me. But I, I think there is more. But I think that I think he felt like that was a good thing to put that out there like that. What's crazy to me though is is that um <clears throat> still holding that empty ass card, man. Hey man, it's you know, yeah, this bitch, man. Um <laughs> oh, fuck uh, fucked up. Rick Ross. Fuck. I love to see you and Rick Ross fight. <laughs> I love to see y'all fight. Uh, you why? both both with your glasses too. Why? Oh no, I think it'd be a good fight. We'll just have the glasses on just going at it. I think some accusations. <laughs> 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 like Rick Ross like pushes your son. Bro, but I, oh, he's fucking getting it, oh, bro. I know, oh, like I, oh, fucking getting it. Hey, man, what the oh, push, slim thick huh? ass? Hey, hey he's like push it to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I I thought uh, that was that. To me, that's why I keep talking about like the petty shit. I love it. The 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 album art for that song, that Champagne Moments, this oh, that Rick yeah. Ross. Did, that's yeah. funny as fuck. Yeah, where they picked the white dude. Mm. Remember, this was like, and this is years ago. They would these photos was going out of like certain people that were different races, but they saying they look like certain rap artists mm-hmm. and celebrities. And that was the one they were saying that was like White Drake. Yeah, that's funny as fuck that he got that as like the album cover. That's funny as hell. <laughs> that shit, like this shit, is hilarious to it me. Is. This whole thing is hilarious. I think I think Drake do be. I think he be fucking with these dudes. These uh, they females too. Do you think it's that simple though? I, I think. I mean, I don't think it's with all of them, but I but think he did. I think he be touching a few that he, he shouldn't did. be touching, mm-hmm. or texting, or pillow talking, like doing some weird shit, man. Like, no, I'm, I'm sure he Drake, can pull the Drake, bitches. Drake think he's he's Teflon, man. Dude thinks he's Michael Jackson for real. He really thinks he's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Technically, Seriously. right now, he at the top. Well, if he got the nose yeah, job MJ, like Michael, bro. he on, he on his never, way. Nobody will ever touch MJ, bro. You don't think Prince was on that level? Nah, hell no. Nah. Not the way MJ touched them. Nah, bro. I was MJ, <laughs> MJ bro. go to fucking Denmark and people are passing out. Bro. Drake ain't doing Oh, uh, shit. No, I'm saying Prince, though. You didn't think Prince was like that? I don't think he was as big as MJ. Michael Jackson is something different, bro. Oh yeah, Prince wasn't as big as MJ. Michael Jackson, but he was, was close. He was there. He was there, bro. I thought Prince was mm. dope. I always, I always thought that Prince was way more experimental. Yeah, he was yeah, different. Way more. I, I, I different. thought he was way more. Like he always was trying to change his sound. He, he was, was always trying to mm-hmm. find something new. He kind of, you know, in all honesty, he kind of remind me of a, uh, as far as sonically, like musically, is a, uh, is is well, Kanye like him. Mm-mm. Like always trying to change his sound, trying to come up with a new sound, not trying to follow anybody else's thing, 
create his own sound. Yeah. I always felt he his was experimental bro. like that. But that song Bat Dance, that's crazy, yeah. bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Still this but Mike day. is Mike. I mean, at the end of the day. He's Mike, like Mike, the number Mike, one yeah. human being to ever live. And here's the reason oh, why. Oh, Michael Jackson would stop World War Three, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, he would stop, <laughs> he bro. Would. He'd get everybody, all the countries, he and everybody would. come down the stairs, and but you know, they'd be like, Mike. You just see, <laughs> you just see him with bubbles. Found yeah. <laughs> was Kendrick saying that Prince was better than MJ? Was he that, said Prince out, out, outlived Mike him, Jack? Yeah. yeah, but nothing was beating MJ, regardless of how out. Like he ain't here right now, but I'm just saying, like he's still relevant. It's just even a bar not at here. the end of the day. He's just making a, yeah. it's just making a point. But MJ, you can't beat MJ, bro. Not only did the dude sing, the dude can dance. I don't see Prince, but I don't think Drake like is MJ. MJ though. Drake ain't even close to MJ. Is he close to Prince? I don't think this is. I don't even like really comparing that at that whole aspect. Like as far as those genres, is different ah, genres. You got to. They compare Michael Jordan and fucking even, LeBron. Drake ain't even Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. Different time and era. They're, physical back in the day of MJ. Not as physical now with LeBron. No, these are two different genres. You got rap and you got you have like R and B slash pop. I don't think that's the same. I don't, the the one thing I do not discredit Drake when it comes down to is the longevity. That's the one thing I can't take away from because it's hard to go for that long being number one 100%. and being at top. I can't do it. You just can't. If you if you saying that that's weak, that you just not you just hating. Like you can just then. But it's mm-hmm. to me that's hard to do. The top that hits, is hard to do. The top hits billboards speak for itself. But man. I just don't. I'm I'm not a <clears throat> just not all his songs. I'm just not really a. I'm not a, fan a super of fan of it. Too. I feel like he panders a lot. That's my thing. I just don't. I don't like the pandering. That's my thing. That's when it comes to a lot of his music. So as of right now, currently, where it stands based upon what you guys have heard, K Dot's rebuttal, J Cole's rebuttal. We ain't talking about J Cole no more. Which is sad. We, we ain't mentioned J Cole. Obviously, the dude bowed out, but I mean that's fucking crazy. And then Drake, you got these three, and then let's throw Rick Ross in it. Who's winning? Metro has to be honest back. with you. I don't even think Rick Ross is really in this. I think right now he's just he's saying his piece. There's really the, the beef is still between Drake and Kendrick because these are these are the heavyweights as far as this shit. And we still waiting for Kendrick to respond. Uh we'll see if we get it anytime soon. Mm. So you're saying that Drake got it right now? I I ain't saying that at all. This is the Avengers Infinity Infinity War. I'm not. I'm not saying who's winning Drake at the trying break. Trying to make it out to like he was Kill Bill. Did you see that? He tried to make it. Seem I'm, like- I'm. I'm not gonna lie. That that's what I'm saying. I like all the DMs, all the funny shit because in all and it, what's the name responded to it. The girl uh, played or, Kill or, Bill. Uh, Uma Thurman. She responded to him and said, "Hey, do you need this? The, do you need yeah. the suit? Because she has the suit, the suit yeah. that she wore in Kill Bill. I think that's dope." And I, and I don't think that that's not that's not inaccurate. It does look like they're all like just they trying are. to get oh, yeah. like that's what it looked. It does look like that way. Mm. Like I'm I'm and that's what I'm saying. I don't want nobody else to really get in this because it seems like more people just pop like ASAP ASAP is now mm. in it. Like what the fuck you coming out of left like, field with it? It right. just it mm. seems. Oh, it's because Rihanna. That's what I'm saying. Like it just well, I guess. But it's just why now? Like you're doing it now? Like yeah. it's it's the whole oh the 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 get him while he's weak, while he's wounded. He did some weird like shit that. with that. I think he came out and said, "Don't play none of my music again with Rihanna or some shit like that." Drake Drake did. Drake came out and said some shit like like stop playing my music with Rihanna or some shit like that. Like I'm he said just, that to Asa? Nah, I think he just said it publicly. Mm. Like I tell you, that dude be doing weird shit, bro. There's, mm. I think that's the reason why, like, he says with oh. mm. people, people, he be moving weird, man. Okay, and motherfuckers just ain't with it. Mm. So, to me, I, 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 I'd love to see these niggas destroy Drake for real. As of right I'd now, love to see, I can't stand. This I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. <laughs> the reason As why of I don't right now. The reason why I don't think it's gonna happen <clears throat> is because. Bro, you could take away all the male uh, demographic out of the sales, mm-hmm. and he'll still be number one. The females mm-hmm. buy this dude shit. Yeah. Period. Yeah, it's the females. The females buy this dude shit. No, there's no other male artist in rap 
that has the fan base right. of females like that dude does. And, so who's and, and winning at that's this why point? we were so shocked that Maddie didn't like fucking Drake. We was like, "What the? F- the yeah, f- you the shocked. first woman I've ever heard I that." Every woman likes Drake. I don't think anybody's winning right now. There's two this out there. So you I mean, Drake. Me? Drake has his diss. I mean, if you're saying Drake versus Kendrick, mm-hmm. I mean, you have to say Drake because he's the only one that has a diss out. Yeah, well, well he's the only I mean, one that got a whole song well, out. Kendrick, Kendrick put out his diss. Yeah, yeah but so, that's a verse though. It was, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. Kendrick to me does have to put out a song. Yeah. He does have to respond. Yeah. He's on the clock, is what right. some of them are saying. He is on the clock. He's on the clock. But I think he's. I think I wouldn't be shocked if Kendrick does a performance. This is how Kendrick is. Kendrick is artistic that way. You, he might drop a music video on your ass. Like that's how, that's him. That's how he would do it. Nobody knows how it's gonna come. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. Kendrick, I don't think is it, like for him to do it regular. He don't do shit regular. He does things very yeah. unique, and I feel like he he'll probably do something like that. Like that's what I think. But and I'm a Ken, I'm a Kendrick fan. That's why I'm hoping he responds. I'm like, he, come on, bro. He might hop on a Dr. Dre beat. Dre's been in oh, the studio, bro. That be if he if he hop on a Dre beat. Sorry, Dre. Mm. <laughs> you talked about that earlier too. You said who would be able to match up with Metro Boomin? Oh, I, I, I Doctor Dre. Yeah, he can raise his hand. Yeah, like he could, he could put something out there. That's but, a whole other story. Will Metro actually come out and rap and say something, or is he ain't that gonna, nigga say, gonna make another to say motherfucking anything. beat? He just need to keep making, making his beats because the dude is killing it right now. His, it both of his albums are fire. They make they doing hella numbers. He needs to just keep doing that. He he don't have to say nothing. No, he don't he, have to say anything. All he should do is just feed the people. Be, uh, yeah, just keep them up. Like hey, you want to beat? He said, "Hey, half off if you right. just drink." You want to beat? Yeah, fast, fast. That right half, there. Off. half off. That and Metro right can there. And, tr- and Metro can tr- charge a grip right now. The way oh, he yeah. throwing these things out. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's funny shit. Let's wrap this up here as we. Uh, get ready to close out once again definitely make sure you leave a comment in our section on youtube let us know once again i still want to know your top three fast food restaurants for fries and also chime in on who's winning this current rap beef is it drake is it is it kendrick is it j cole is it ross is it ross you know what i mean so please chime in let us know what you think uh we definitely pay attention to that you know Um, what time it is it is that time it is time for the question of the motherfucking week. And these motherfucking questions have been getting fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. Everybody was saying like every, you know, it's funny just to stick on it real quick is that question we had about the toothbrush. And use and, underwear. And uh, use underwear. Mm-hmm. That's been fucking people up. I've been asking people that and they were like, bro, I don't want to do neither. I know. Nobody <laughs> want to do that. Right. That's a hard one. That's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's, <laughs> that's a difficult choice to make. I just feel like you. Never mind. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I just feel like because if you wear underwear, you can scrub that shit off and see it. But if it's in toothbrush in there, you don't know what the fuck. Like, fuck, nigga, but we, it went we down on your the mouth. Same page, but we don't have to go down, down that mouth. road. We, uh, we on the same page on that. You wild. But uh, we got a new question this week. New question. This one is not as uh, is not as detrimental as the previous one. Dealing with hygiene as mm. much, but I don't know. Tony's here. He might turn it into that. Uh. <laughs> you get a one way trip. One way. Uh-oh. One way trip in a time machine. You can go to the past or you can go to the future. But that's where you remain. Fuck. When and where are you going? So it's a one way. And I want to set the parameters too for this. So if you go so you if you go back into the past, I want to make this clear because I don't want nobody to get confused. You are unaware of your future so when you go back to the past it's almost like you just went back to where you were and it's unbeknownst to you that you time traveled mm. so i want to make that clear because uh, if you do it that way that makes it too easy we got to make it difficult so so you're going you're going back to the past and on your timeline or the future in your timeline or, or the future in ti- so you can't exceed or future your, you can't exceed your timeline no, let's, you could. Let's say I, I'm 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 to die in fifty years. I, I want to travel seventy five years. Nigga, what the fuck? Well, you could um, you, technically because you don't know when <laughs> you're gonna pass. Curveballs. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. So okay, the future is saying. really that's unknown. The past is known at least because you know what <clears throat> you did in the past. Mm-hmm. But there's a point in time where you could go back. So the choice that's the, the that's the choice you dealt with. Would you rather go in with you and you're stuck there? This is the thing. There's no get back. 
So you are stuck there. This is where you're going to continue the rest of your life. You're not talking about. Oh, wait, you're confusing me. You're not. I'm talking about your. So I'm saying like. He can go 100 years. I was born in 85. So can I go back into the past at 80? Or is it just oh. my time? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, know you know what I Yeah, mean? you can't go before you were born. Okay, and you can't go... Oh, wait, what? Oh, my God. I but you can go in the future, infinite years? Question. Yes. Massively confusing. Yes. You're talking about within your experience, your life experience. Within your timeline, yeah. Within your timeline. Not if you can get in a time-traveling thing and go all the way 400 years in the past or go 400 years in the future. Mm. Right. That's what I was wondering. That's a new that's wrinkle. What I, that's, what I was, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Okay. Like, is it just your lifespan... From when I was born to when I died. Yes. So we're gonna keep that. it like that. Your okay. life. Your life. Yes. Okay. I, I'll, I'll tell you. I would go back to my junior year in high school. So you're racing, Jackson. Yeah. Jackie. All they gone. They gone. Mm-hmm. But the same thing. If it's unbeknownst that you were even time traveling, he's gonna do the same shit. No, that he did back then. not if you believe. No, not if I, you, not, I, not if you believe in alternate universes. I would not do the, the same. The fact shit. is, you don't. You could basically make different choices mm. now. I, even I, though it's unbeknownst to you, we're talking still, about quantum entanglement, right? Now. I, and I believe in that. I don't. I don't yeah. believe. I believe there's other versions of you. But that's already happening right now. Thing. Then, right? It's already happening. So. We're talking about that one theory. Was it? What is it? Uh, String uh, theory. No, the other one, man. Where. You, Multiverse? Like, no, 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 no. Like the bears thing bears. Oh, Mandela effect? Mandela effect. Mm. It's kind of like that a little bit. Yeah. I was, so so you were going back to, you said, my bad. Back. You said going to junior year high school. Yeah, even though it erases everything I have right now, but I would definitely want to get that back because my son's fucking amazing. My wife is fucking amazing. But I feel like if I went back to my junior year in high school, I would push myself a little bit harder in the sports and era that because back then when I was in high school, motherfuckers didn't have phones and camcorders to see all the dope shit that I did back then. But I would push a little bit harder in that sports aspect when I was playing in high school to like pursue it a little further and maybe a little bit harder because honestly, we wasn't caring at that time. Mm -hmm. We didn't have smartphones to capture in sick ass moments. And now you go viral and you're this huge sensation. You know what I mean? The question you got to ask yourself is, do you think that you would, if you were given another chance? Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely do it 100% harder. I was already doing good. I just didn't, I, I chose my senior year, the party life instead of, Sticking Stupid. to the sports, yeah, but yeah, I think I think because right when I got out of high school, even before I got out of high school, I kind of graduated, you know, mid mid year because I had hella credits, but like, I felt like I was more trying to party, which we threw some dope ass parties back in the day. I told you Project X type shit. Pass this nigga. What? <laughs> Pass this nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I miss it. I want to laugh, nigga. I want to laugh. It about you. That's why. That's why I asked. What? No. Anyways, uh, I feel like I would. I, I was more so about the party life uh, right out of high school more than I was like the sports aspect. And I was a big dude. I probably could have been playing. Like I could have been fucking. What's that dude? Blindside dude. Uh, uh, Michael Orr. Yeah. Michael Orr, bro. Right. Tony, what you doing, man? You going to the past or you going to the future? I mean, obviously, since I don't know what my future has and everything's shit already, I'm thinking I'm going to the past. So, like, like I'm, I'd be going to the past. Like, I think just right out of high school because what you're talking about is like sixth, seventh dimension. Like, that's like where we have the ability to then, like, go in any point of our lives. You know what I right. mean? Like, that's like, yeah, I think I'd, I'd probably. Would you, do you think you would be able to do, want to do a redo? So I'm trying to remember if they talked about that was seventh or eighth dimension where you can you already see all the possibilities and you get to pick which one that you would do. Nah, don't do that. That makes yeah, it too easy. I know. Oh, you think like kind of like Interstellar a little bit when he went into the thing and he could see the Tesseract. Yeah, yeah. See all that's more the... fifth dimension though. That's what's crazy. That's yeah. not even. That's actually but lower than what we're talking about. We're talking about like you already know every single thing in the outcome and you get to experience it. But he's saying you don't. You don't. So you don't know. So that's the thing. Yeah. When you go back to the past, wherever you go. So if you say, yeah. I want to go to the past. Let's say you want to go to 1995. You go to 95 mm-hmm. as you were in 1995, but everything's unbeknownst. Right. So it's almost like your memory's wiped right. from up to this point. That's why kind of what you said, Wynton. Like you're going back unpronounced. That's right. what I don't like, though, because to me it's like, 
uh, you're going to just repeat the exact same thing you've already been doing, especially if it's something else. You could, you couldn't. There's other choices. There's other things. But then you I feel like done. that's throwing a wrench in it, though, because it's like, well, of course you could and couldn't, but it's like, like of course a rabbit can cross the road and you kind of stop for a little bit, and then all of a sudden that rabbit ended up making somebody crash, made somebody. True. Late. That's what I'm saying. Other things can ha- the other things can happen. Yeah, but we don't know though. So like, I feel like. But that's the gamble. That's the gamble on you though. That's what I'm saying. Like the, it's almost you're you're taking another gamble to, to basically do a redo, and I think that's why this question is is. Yeah, interesting. I, I would do high school because Make sure hopefully whatever happened in my life, I wouldn't get with my first ex wife. So yeah, <laughs> you gotta avoid that. Yeah, avoid that somehow. You gotta avoid that. What you doing, Warren? I think everybody fears, man. Like what's to come and what's in the future. You know what I mean? So it's right. like I think everybody's best answers like all go in the past because you kind of know you at least live to this point. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Me, I'd probably, I don't want to go to the future, man. I'd go at least like 10 years. Okay. 10 years in the future, and then it's just, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where I land. Like, am I am I alive or am I dead? You right. know what I'm saying? And then if I'm alive, where am I at? What's going on? Who's around me? What's going on in the world? Is the world fucked up? Uh, how fucked and up? the thing you know about I mean? it is, though, it's, it's like. It's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be like. How Shocking. fucked up if you said 10 years and all of a sudden it shot you like eight ye- eight years and a half? And all of a sudden it's like, wait, why is it eight years and a half? Because tomorrow you're going to die. Yeah. Like, Fuck. That's, what crazy. Crazy. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that for that. Uh, that's another reason why I'm saying that. If you choose the future, you're really going in blind. Right. Because yeah. you, could, you, could, you could die tomorrow. Right. Mm-hmm. And then so now you just into nothingness. What you got? Yeah. I'm going in the past. Oh, uh, it's a great motel. Where? But uh, the timeline. <laughs> so I'm looking at this from a. Love my kids. Love the kids. Right, love the kids. Right. Yeah, I feel you on that. You got uh, But I do <clears throat> think. I, I, I guess I'm not looking at this from a holistic approach, like to the point where I want to revamp almost everything. I kind of want to do it in a way where, okay. Where do I think if I would have went back, I would have probably chose different because I knew better, but I chose that wrong way anyway. Mm. That's how I'm looking at it. And so I'm trying to think like I'm 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 thinking about maybe mm, I'm about like seven years ago. Seven years ago? Yeah. That's not the bad. Fuck? You still got Junior. Uh, you still got, you know, you can't. I, I know still got saying. both of them. I see what you're saying. Kamaya's just born. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. That's nice. The yeah. fuck? Yeah. And there was a mistake made or? Uh, I just feel like there's other decisions I might would have made after that point. Oh, shit. You better be easy. Tread lightly, nigga. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I got to tread lightly. Yeah. I was like, Right shit. after your daughter was born, there would have been other decisions that you made. Yeah. Which means what? Maybe stand with the baby mama. That's what I I'm saying. I wouldn't tread, even tread say lightly, that. You know what yeah. I mean? I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I'm not <laughs> looking at it. That's why I said uh, it too. <laughs> you just opened me up. I didn't I'm even just, think about that. <laughs> tread lightly. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, no, that's not what I was thinking. There we go. But right. but uh, is that white guy with another Filipino? Huh? <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I would look at it from. I'm, I guess I'm looking at just like certain decisions I think I'm that were made just across that time that I feel like, you know how you know when you made the wrong choice? Mm-hmm. We've mm-hmm. done that. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like if I would go back, I would make the right one because you know better. But we don't know better supposedly based upon No, the you do know better. You just made the wrong dis- decision knowingly. I just don't want to go in the future. I feel you on that. Part of me does want to do the future, but you just don't never know. I might just go into nothingness. The comet might have hit. Right. This is you know what I mean. This is, the only, <laughs> this is the only reason right here why I would want to go to the future. I want to see how this motherfucker age. You see that shit? Pass that around to the motherfuckers. God damn. I know you see, see that shit. You may go back into the past. You correct that mistake. That's not her. They edited but that. that mistake you correct. A new problem comes from it because I've never been attracted. Don't know. You're right. I've you never been attracted to right that. that. It makes me attracted. <laughs> That's true. That's crazy. That is Holy true. Shit. That motherfucker sexy as shit. That's the only reason why I want to go to the future. Let me see if that motherfucker right there ages. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
she got that forever age like god damn i know you show the camera on it's that gotta one. be fake that's gotta show be the fake. camera on that this is not real i it's gotta don't, be don't fake. know There's no bro. way she look like that I she does not look know. like this that's what i was thinking show the camera she looked like a cartoon character god mm. yeah that's not her she looking scrumptious you didn't even realize it was AI when we were trying to tell you it was AI with the AI ones. They look scrumptious too, nigga. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Bad, Bad yeah, right? Really Bad. That's Jennifer Hopez. Man. Uh, Jennifer Hopez. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, that's looking, I've never been attracted to her, but that's. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. Wow. Yeah. Before, Definitely that be. was before Ben Affleck. Nigga, that's. <laughs> Is that's she with him right now? Is that who she with? Because I thought she was with A Rod. I know she let go of A Rod. She's back with Ben Affleck. Ain't nigga, she? that's Bad. Jenny B. From the block. For real. That's, <laughs> that's been like around that, the block. That was Anaconda uh J Lo. Right. That's 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 not that's not real. Oh, that shit look funny. That's not real. Scrumptious. Why'd you bring that up? Uh somebody sent it to me and I I don't know. I just had to share that shit. I thought okay. she was bad as fuck. All right, well we wind it now. Winding down for the night, episode one oh five. I'm glad you got that right, dog. Bean team. Bean team. Hey, Y'all, rest of y'all season is on the line against the New Orleans Pelicans. This Friday, this so Friday. Handle business. Um, did want to just you know again make sure y'all like and subscribe. We appreciate all the love that you're getting. We do want to end the closing on advice. We all talk about advice. What's the best advice we can give everybody, man? Hmm. Something you got? Nothing better than wash your ass. Actually, I had a, I had a moment. Is it? No, I'm gonna say no, Diddy in advance. Right. I thought about you in the shower today. Oh fuck! <laughs> Absolutely, no, did Diddy. You, did you, do you piss in there? No, Diddy. Well, I mean that's that's normal. <laughs> right? That's normal, right? I actually, I actually, look, look, right. look, look. I actually had to go pee. I looked at the toilet right before I was about to hop in the shower. I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna just hop in the shower. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> That nigga wouldn't get out the shower. It's gonna be a tidal wave. I was bitch. I was washing my ass, routine, right? Why is you thinking of me while you was washing your ass? Because I fucked up. I almost gave myself pink eye. I washed my face after I washed my ass, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I just you know what I mean. It was one of those moments. <laughs> so is that the advice? <laughs> wash wash your wash face, your face first. first, and then your ass. I, I love that shit, man. That's Definitely. good advice. Don't get Absolutely. pink eye. Mm-hmm. Don't be a nasty nigga, <laughs> Tony. Man, what's the advice you got? And hope it's not nothing about an eclipse. Uh. I think the best advice I today's worries ruin or tomorrow's worries ruin today's peace. Tomorrow's worries, ooh. ooh because shit. it's like you with there's just so much shit that I'm so sick and tired of being worried about. And it's mm-hmm. like we're all here to do what we're all here to do. And if you know or you have a vision at least of what you want to do, if you don't have a vision, you're just here just living life. That's fine too. You just experience it. But if you want something, don't worry about shit. Like if something bad happens, it's supposed to happen because of what it is that you want. So just let it happen and don't worry about it because it's gonna ruin your peace. Mm. So, um, okay. That's that's real feel, feel. Mm-hmm. okay, that's real. I can't, I can't disagree with that. More ready? What you got, man? Um, I ain't got no advice, man. Um, but let us know in the comments, man, if you would like to see the About the Night crew host the night at D thirty. My mm. God, that's what I got for my everybody, motherfucking man. guy right there, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm trying to make shit happen, man. Merge this uh, About the Night scene in the know. nightlife. Let us know. That's a fact. What you got? Advice for the people. Know how to read. <laughs> know how to read. <laughs> nigga, that's hard, bro. Know how to read. <laughs> nigga, that's hard, bro. You just can't say know how to read, nigga. What the fuck? Learn. Learn to do. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys so very much for staying tuned each and every week. We appreciate it. And please don't have Winton's list of fries. Let us know what you like, cause I know I know somebody else fucking like them fries too. Hell Stop nah. playing. Stop playing. Nobody like them shits. <laughs> <laughs>